Here we're going to look at uh, notes payable, which is a liability on the balance sheet, and we want to know how to fairly represent this notes payable at its present value. Uh, here in notes payable, we've got a $4,000 amount, but that isn't due until the end of the fourth year. So let's go down here and look at the cash flow diagram for that. So at the end of the fourth year, we have a $4,000 payment we have to make on the notes payable. But we want to know what its present value is at the beginning of year one here on our balance sheet. So what we do is we take the $4,000 and discount it back using uh, the applicable interest rate. And we, in this case, we come up with a present value of $2,732. And then we take and we recognize the expense here at its present value in year one at $2,732. Now we need a, we got a debit here of $2,732 and a credit here of $4,000 that we're going to pay at the end of fourth year. So we need another uh, debit entry here to keep everything in balance here, keep our accounts in balance. So what we use here is a discount to notes payable. Now this is a contra account. You can see here the debits and credits, they have opposite signs. So what we do here is we uh, add the balance here to the discount of notes, a discount to notes payable here of $1,268. So that was the $4,000 uh, notes payable amount less its present value of 2732 and that's 1268. All right, so that takes care of year one. Now each of the succeeding years we allocate this $4,000 um, future value that we have to pay here less the present value of 2732 so we have to allocate here this difference as an interest expense of $1268. So um, we use in this case, I use the effective rate method for discounting or calculating that interest expense. So each year we had an interest expense here. So we add up the uh, year one, its present value of 2732 plus that interest expense for the four years and we come up with $4,000 of notes payable expense, which matches the $4,000 here that we have to pay at the end of the fourth year. So. We needed a balancing entry for each one of those um, years here. So we do it through the discount to notes payable. So uh, the interest expense that we were incurring as a debit on our notes payable expense, we credit here, or we reduce the discount here to uh, by that interest expense amount each year until the end of the fourth year, we've depleted all our discount here. So we no longer have a discount and that uh, it's zero 1268 debits balances with the 1268 uh, credits here and what has happened is we'll look here at our notes payable our net amount versus our discount so each year we reduced our discount by the interest expense that we charged to that notes payable and then consequently the discount decreases so our notes payable net would increase. So at the end of uh, the fourth year we have a discount here of zero and our notes payable had increased here from 2732 its present value up to four thousand dollars. So what we're looking at here uh, when we're talking about these contra accounts and in this case it was a discount to notes payable we use this as bal a balancing entry here to represent the present value or what fair value of what the notes payable is for each of the um, for each of the years that we we have this notes payable on our book so just in review here we had a four thousand dollar payment due at the end of the fourth year we discounted that back to its present value at the beginning of year one using our uh, interest rate in this case it was ten percent and then we allocate we took the difference here between the future value of the payment we have to pay and its present value and that amount here uh, of 1268 we had to allocate to our interest expense here so we end up with a, after we add in the interest to the present value we end up with the four thousand dollars a notes payable that we have to pay in the fourth year and we kept everything in balance 
by using this discount account here, which is a contra account to notes payable. Now that's just a summary of how we'd represent uh, notes payable at its uh, present value on the balance sheet, and then how we'd use that discount here to notes payable to keep everything in balance.